up everyone turn my hair down it's gonna be a very short video i gotta use my other phone because for some reason the main one that i do most of my recording on is being a dick all right you guys have to forgive me like i say i'm driving be a very brief video guys I promise you it'll be long um i know you guys seen the title of the video you know, uh, Jerry Ward passed away yesterday. And uh, let's tell you how we gonna do this here. I think driving gonna just be, you know, you know, I like to drive and record, but I think I'm about to park and record because this phone is gonna keep. See, we got technical difficulties, but we gonna stop and do this because I'm not going to be. Uh... Oh, I hear you. We're not gonna be doing this to where the camera's bouncing around and all that shit. So real quick, guys, if you didn't know who Jerry Ward was, my advice would be go check out his channel, Bio Street Training. Some people call it Bio S3 Training. It don't matter. But uh, I didn't know Jerry Ward personally, but I did enjoy his content. A very knowledgeable guy had a you know had a tumultuous past dealing with uh, substance abuse and stuff like that. But he turned his life around, you know, later on in his life. And um, that's the main thing, you know, uh, in life. You learn from your mistakes, you make better choices, and and you you shine from that, right? Well, he passed yesterday, and um, there's speculation going around what he might have died from. Being a, being a bodybuilder and being in that sport that, you know, and I'm not referring to him, uh, you take a lot of risks, a lot of risks with PEDs and stuff of that nature, right? So, there's speculation that he might have passed from a heart attack. We do not know at this time. Jerry Ward could have had, you know, uh, internal injuries. Uh, apparently, he had been complaining all week on the left side. Now, me being a personal trainer and stuff of that nature, I'm very big on cardio, now, and I'm very big on just people being healthy overall. A lot of people neglect their health, and they don't get their normal exams and all that good stuff, right? And Jerry had been complaining all week long of lower pain in, in, in the, uh, well, the lower, but left side pain around the rib area. That usually is a red flag that it could be a cardiovascular issue a lot of time pertaining to the heart because your heart sits right here underneath your left pectoral muscle. It sits basically kind of like right here. It's up in here. The bottom part of that heart is right around the left lower, well, upper part of the left side of your ribcage. So he was having pain in that area, but he kept ignoring. He thought maybe the way he was training, maybe he packed luggage, maybe he pulled something. So he was told to go get it checked out. He refused, saying, no, I'm just fatigued, I'm tired, and I just want to rest. He rests, and then he missed his call time to be at the live stream event to do commentary up in Pittsburgh. And when they went to his hotel room, he was deceased. Um, could have been a heart attack, could have been, like I said, eternal bleeding. Nobody knows. But I can say, based on him being fatigued and tired, having that type of pain in that area, leads me to believe that most likely it could be most likely a heart attack but i'm not i'm not going to just say that's what he died from uh but my heart goes out to his family his friends that knew him personally um and you know it's a loss nobody nobody likes when this happens but it's 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 it's, it's a part of life and you always have to remember that when you body build, oh, he don't even work over here at Lowe's. He's trying to sell some shit. And I'm like, I didn't see him when I got into Lowe's. So he out here trying to hustle people outside of Lowe's. Oh, he need to get stumped, but these motherfuckers, Lord forgive me. Lord forgive me. Uh, I, I hate people like that. He's over here on another establishment trying to sell shit in a Lowe's parking lot. That is, that is against, let me, hold on guys. Now, I got the camera. 
facing me, so I'm gonna turn around. You guys can see this guy standing up over there. He was literally, I came out of Lowe's, right? He don't even work here. I figured he didn't work at Lowe's, so he's going across the parking lot in that green bag trying to sell shit on the premises over here. See how he's standing over there? Like, look at him. That is a damn shame. That's against the law. That's listening as best. That is against the fucking law right there. Look how he's looking. That's against the fucking law. Anyway, if you come back over here, I'm going to smack the shit out of him. All right, look, look, look. look what, what the hell is he doing? Look, he going to turn around. Look at him. Look, look. Hold on, guy. I know this is about Jerry Ward, but look at this guy. Look at what he's doing. He was walking over here, and then he came back around, turned back around, and he's going back over there. Look at him. Somebody, okay, he, all right. Look at him, up, man. Anyway, I guess he got to make a fucking living. Yeah. Man, this is crazy. Yeah, you trying to hustle somebody. This shit crazy. No, I'll I just hold my phone. I'm like, put it back in there. But anyway, guys, with all that being said, when you when you're in that world of bodybuilding, you you have to remember to check your health. Check your health. I train like a bodybuilder. I don't eat like one though. You know, you want to put the muscle on because my goal is to power lift eventually. So you want to put the muscle on the sides on in a healthy way. I'm all natural and train from there. You know, build your strength off the foundation. But most bodybuilders, he is changing clothes. Look at this asshole. He literally just took his clothes off. Look at he's changing clothes. Look at him. Look, 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 look. What the fuck? Anyway. Anyway. Um, uh, going to Kroger now to make a, make a hustle. But most bodybuilders, they neglect their health. They don't. They don't do what they're supposed to do. And that's true. So it, it wouldn't surprise me if Jerry ultimately came to a heart attack. Most bodybuilders, when they die, that's usually what they die from. There's a heart attack. But the main reason why I'm making this particular video, besides getting my condolences, is because it's no secret Jerry has some enemies on YouTube. I'm not going to mention the Michelin Man. If you guys know who the Michelin Man is, too bad. I'm not going to mention them. All you guys need to know that's been in the comment section talking shit is that you guys need to let that shit go. You guys need to let that shit go. Okay? What happened back then needs to stay back there. Okay? There is no need to bring up the issues he had with certain YouTubers in the comment section of those YouTuber channels trying to stir up that drama again. Let that shit die. Ain't nothing but you trolls. Jerry Warden did more in his lifetime than it'll take three or four lifetimes of you trolls to accomplish. So y'all need to leave that shit alone. Leave, leave that shit where it's at. This isn't the time to be stirring up drama. So, but I've been seeing it. Oh, well, so-and-so glad. I know so-and-so glad he's dead. Cause so-and-so leave that shit alone. Let that shit stay where it needs to stay. Dead. D-E-A-D. -E dead. Okay? That's all I got. Boy, he is on a move. I mean, he is now. He's going to the gas station. This nigga, he, he is hustling his ass off. He's going through the bushes. Anyway, guys, that's all I got to say. Like I said, R.I.P. to Jerry Ward. You know, my condolences to him and his family. And uh, like I say, man, health is wealth. Go get checked out. Don't, don't play with your health. Go get checked out because it could be the difference between life and death. Go get checked out. If you're having certain pains, issues, go get checked out. It don't hurt to know. If it's something that you can prevent, make them healthy life decisions and choices to prevent you from leaving here soon. We all gotta leave here one day, but don't rush your time. And I don't think Jerry did it intentionally. I don't know people say, oh, well, you know. Some, he probably thought it was just normal pain. 
from just training the injury. But fatigueness, being tired, those are the red flags. Go get your health checked out. With that being said, guys, I still got stuff I got to do. I got a lot going on in my house today. Um, you guys take care. Stay safe. Remember, health is wealth. And once again, RIP, Jerry Ward. My condolences to him and his family. Stay safe, guys. Peace.